Yeah, hi, good morning, pretty. You look pretty good, all things considered. What happened to your ponytail? Oh, so no. Oh no. She sure is. And it's on. We're gonna have to fix that. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my gosh. It won't even turn off now. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta turn it all the way on and figure out. Okay. We got in late last night. And by the time that we got in, things were dark here at Longhorn Lester's. Hi, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, I'm coming, babe. So I didn't get to see everybody last night like I wanted to. Of course, I got to love on the dogs a little bit. They know we're here. But I walked out to say hello to Dixie, check on her. But it was dark, you know, and still raining, which was a problem that we're going to talk about here in a little bit as well. But I thought that you would want a first look at Dixie right along with me. Yeah, I'm going to share that moment with you. This is crazy to me. Hold on. I'm underneath the awning where we have the camper and this tub is flipped right side up and that much rain must have blown into that. That's a lot of rain. Lester and I are still trying to figure out how much we actually got. Our rain gauge only measured up to five inches and it was full to the top. Uh, I know, pretty girl, I miss you so much. Oh, did I miss you? She's also mad because she hasn't gotten out of here in four days. Oh boy, hello. Good morning. Get down, <laughs> don't jump on mama. I'm coming, baby, I'm coming. Oh boy, we need some sunshine in our lives, don't we, Dix? Don't we, beautiful? Hi, how are you feeling besides mad at mom? It's like I'm mad if you left. I'm mad that I can't get out. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's make sure that that gets in your mouth. Did it go in? Yes, okay. Good girl, hi, Bev. You want some too? Have you're looking extra curly. <laughs> Everything is sloppy and gross. Yeah, hi, good morning, pretty. You look pretty good, all things considered. What happened to your ponytail? I put your ponytail in before we left. How did it get down, huh? My, oh my. Some more of her hair must be coming out. Uh-oh, I hear something. So Sister Kim was here while we were gone. <laughs> you like that? Sister Kim was here while we were gone and she said, hey, Dixie's using the hose as a scratching post. Oh no. Oh no. She sure is. And it's on. We're gonna have to fix that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. It won't even turn off now. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta turn it all the way on and figure out, okay, holy cow, that's not good, <sighs> four days, Carl, four days, Carl, we left for four days, and look at this, Carl had a whole branch fall onto his side of the pasture, how are y'all doing, you want some more of this, I brought you a little extra this morning for good measure, do you want some of that? Yeah, this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They make Cinnamon Toast Crunch now in tiny little balls and it works well for our medicine distribution so far. You like that? I know, it's something special, special little snack. Beverly, you've been rolling in dirt, straight up dirt. I see that your fur is coming off in the front, but it ain't in the back. All right, we got worming to do today for Bev. Yeah, I know. You also have hay on your ear. Uh, we have to do some pasture cleanup. Mm -hmm. And I should also mention that we are stuck at home. Well, we parked on the other side. But uh, we couldn't get all the way up the driveway with my car. Ow, Beverly, that was my finger. Stop being so aggressive. 
There's like four of them left. That's the problem. Did you get one? All right, give a few to Dixie. Okay. Whew, that hurt mama's finger. Okay. No, y'all aren't coming in. So first up, overall, she looks okay. I'm just doing a once around here. Her breathing seems to be okay. We're shedding a whole lot more. That's great news. We'll get you brushed today, baby. And let's see about walking you. Good morning. Thank you. Come on. Walk over here. Come on over here, Dixie. Oh, you snuck in anyway. Come on. Okay, we're not limping. This is good news. Okay, hi. Oh my. Yes. Mom's gonna get your brush, okay? Mom's gonna get your brush. Yes, I missed you so. I missed you so much. It's good to see you. Get you some clean water. Then we're gonna bring the tractor over and get up this wet hay, clean up all the poop, and maybe we'll let Dixie out into the yard today for a little bit for some exercise and some reward for being such a good girl. You too, Bev. But uh, let's change out her water first and then go check on everyone else as well. Dixie, you wanna go out today? Come on. Go out while mama's cleaning up your pasture. Okay, get you a little mental break, a little exercise. Do not go down that driveway. Do not go down that driveway. She won't anyway, the rocks hurt her feet. But you know, just putting that out there because we got a big disaster. <laughs> so funny story, Beverly has made her way up to the patio. The dogs are like, no, no, this is wrong. Hey, no. Come here, Fifi, it's okay. It's okay. They don't like Beverly in their space. I gotta close the garage door a little bit. We're not gonna check the garden just yet. It is drenched, that's one thing that we know. But we are gonna go check on the chickens. Ben did a really great job of moving them right along. And it's funny because you can actually see the path that they were eating, you may not be able to, but See how the grass is real long here? Right beyond that is where the chickens actually were and they kept the grass eaten down. So, high five to the lawnmowers that we didn't know we had. Good morning, ladies. How are you guys feeling? That was a pretty rough ride, huh? I guess for y'all, you had the penthouse here, so it didn't matter. But good morning. Everybody appears to be doing just fine. Here's the remnants of their Cucumber and zucchini days. Have to pick those up and toss them over the ledge for whatever is going to eat them next. There's an actual branch that fell into my fruit tree. They look pretty good, all things considered. They're just soaked, waterlogged. This amount of rain is unbelievable, to be honest. What a difference from last year. And what a weird thing to have to sit here and think about. That when it rains that we have a, a new worry out here because we didn't before. Oh, these are blooming. I wonder what these are. That's really pretty. I was just walking along here to see if I had any grapes growing yet. I do not. Stella, what are you doing? Weirdo. Okay. We got animals on the other side we got to pay attention to now. The garden will be last because it will take the most time all that rain probably made things grow giant or killed them. No in between, but that's okay. Price you pay for being gone four days. Hey, look, we have a few more blooms on this magnolia tree that we didn't have before. Those are beautiful, like legitimately beautiful, gigantic. Hold on, I'm gonna get closer so you can see one. Those are stunning. That's bigger than my head. Oh, that is so, so pretty. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, 
Oh, I love to see that. Here's gonna be one at eye level pretty soon. Well, that's good news. I'll take that. Once the yard dries out, Lester's gonna have to mow. Or maybe I'll mow again and, you know, mess it all up and take away all of his Wrigley Field lines instead. So I was coming over to this side of the property to, you know, make a video to show all the rest of the animals and how they're doing, but uh, none of them are here. The ostriches are here. They're good. They're just here waiting to be fed. It rained so hard last night that we were not able to give them grain. They only got some green hay, so they're kind of kind of a little antsy. And I see two more ostriches out here, but where are my horses and my donkeys and uh, the cows? Well, I know y'all are dying to see this part because I'm ready to see it in daylight. Oh, this is a big stressor, y'all. You can see that <clears throat> we parked my car and walked the rest of the way home last night. Yeah, in the rain with a, a whole lot of unknown and the flashlights from our phone only. But we did it. Yeah. There's a lot going on overall. So here's something crazy. I've never seen her do this before. Dixie actually has walked the driveway. Now the gate is closed, y'all, but why? Just why? Why is everything going so wrong? Let me just tell you a little bit more before we get all the way down. When it rains, it pours. Well, <laughs> these are minor. These are such minor things, but I have to laugh because God is trying to tell me something and I just don't know what it is. I woke up with one earring in. No idea where the other is. It's not in the bed. It's not in the towel that I used last night. Anything. So, at some point in time yesterday, I lost an earring. No big deal. The toilet broke. The little flappy doodle thingy. Um, and I have a replacement kit here. So, I went to go replace it. And it turns out I have a universal arm. But it's not universal for my toilet. No. No. That's not true. Um, oh, look. Here's something. This is This is like the best part, though. Here's our concrete post that sat so lovely in the ground before the ground went away. Yeah, um, that is the bulkhead, that big wall right there. That's supposed to stop the water from rushing through. Oh, look, there's the culvert that the water goes through. Mm -hmm, this is, and it's very dangerous because, because it doesn't just stop here. We're actually standing on top of um, some crateredness. Yeah, it goes way back. It's super amazing. Mother Nature is really messing with me. And I don't exactly know why. I don't, I don't know what sort of lesson that was supposed to come out of all of this other than that she wins. Like no matter what, she wins. But that post is dangling on the fence. And that means that these poor little screws right here are stressed to no end. Uh, one thing I told Lester, there's the cows. I'm guessing the rest of the horses are up there too, which is why Dixie and Beverly walked all the way up there, which is sweet and great. It's just weird that she walked the driveway and scary because I didn't know that she was going to do that. She's never done it before. I guess they heard what was going on and thought, eh, we should probably take a walk. And this is, this is a little bit embarrassing. But when she saw it, she obviously got really nervous because she left, you know, that's what horses do. So Lester has an idea about how to fix this. Um, it's not exactly what I had envisioned, but he's going to consult with our pond guys. <laughs> um, you can see that half the dam is gone again. And um, fortunately, I think we're only expecting a tiny bit of rain tomorrow. And it's only a 50% chance. And then we're probably good for a couple weeks because this has got to be fixed. This is dangerous. This is incredibly dangerous. Um, <clears throat> I told Lester that we need to put up a temporary fence basically around this because a lot of the times the horses and donkeys would use this as their pathway to walk and I don't want them to be confused. Specifically Bucky's because um, that would be awful. But I'm just looking at this now and all of the rock has moved from here 
to here, which is probably also blocking the culvert, which is probably part of the big, big issue as to why the water started to come here instead. Um, plenty of rock over here because it all washed through at first, I'm guessing. It's halfway, it's halfway down the woods. It's really disheartening. Um, I know Lester made a video about this, so I'm not going to harp on it. But for me, I feel like we've spent so much money on this pond and the dam and this bulkhead. And I just keep saying to myself, no one got hurt, no one got hurt, no one got hurt. And that, that is the truest true of this all. Um, I hope that we can do something bigger and better to make it never have to go through this scenario again. But it sure is, um, it sucks. <laughs> so anyway, let's go take a look at the animals and find some peace in that and see if I can get Miss Dixie to come across. Um, that temporary fence I think would be, I have bought a solar electric fence for temporary situations that really requires us to put a couple posts into the ground. And I don't mean like four by four posts, like t-post into the ground and just stretch out an area and I don't want to use an electric fence but at the same time I don't want anything to fall in there because it will break a leg it will die I don't know how we would ever get it out um the ground is just so saturated even driving a tractor or anything around is just <sighs> not good Actually, before I go up here, I'm going to go grab a lead rope so I don't have to make this journey twice. Um, I'm going to put Dixie into this side of the pasture. This side actually appears to be pretty safe still. Um, so she can navigate her way back up to to the side. But um, let me go grab a lead rope first. So Lester's actually rearranging pastures over here on the right side. Or at least opening up the gates in between. Um, when we're out of town, we seclude everyone so that way the people that are caring for the animals don't have to go in between and mess with goats bum rushing ya and <laughs> Carl potentially being agitated. So Lester's gonna fix that and I'm gonna put Dixie and Beverly back on the right side. Hopefully this goes well. Please go well. Come on. Come with me. Come on, girls. Let's go. I'll let you in the good spot, okay? She's like, Mom, there. it's been raining and there's delicious grass over there. I'm going to need to eat that. I know, love. I know. Here's the problem. These rocks hurt her feet. So she's going to walk another five feet and realize that she's out of softness on the right-hand side and have to cross over here. <sighs> it's going to be great. It's going to be so great. So one bonus is Lester was originally going to have to come down here and mow the inside of the driveway. And y'all did daddy's work for him. You did his chores. You look hot, baby. Come on, let's go. All right. Everyone's back where they should be. Well, somewhat of where they should be. Dixie's going to get a good scratching in. And uh, Beverly's going to keep playing games with Ivy across the street here. My hope is that Dixie makes it back to her side of the pasture and goes and cools off for a while gets her a drink that was a lot of activity this morning for her and she was not happy about walking back down the driveway at all but we made it and uh i also put her ponytail right back in her hair okay we're off to i'm a survivor now check on that space and see what the animals have been up to over there and see what the river's doing so Thanks for joining me this morning. Y'all doing okay? Yeah? All right. Well, we love you. We love you so much. Oh my goodness. Yeah.